Hey everyone, and welcome to another e-learning support video. This video is going to show you how to access the lessons for your e-learning course in Brightspace. All right, let's get to it. Once you've logged into your e-learning course, look on the nav bar for an icon either called Lessons or Content. This should bring you to a colored list of units that house the different lessons you'll be progressing through and completing as the course goes on. Now, there are typically three styles of courses you may experience, depending on where you're taking your online course through. In the Greater Essex County District School Board, your lessons will look like one of the two following styles. The first style, if you select the unit and lesson you want, and then select Content, you'll see the lesson load on the screen to your right, and you can scroll down the page to access everything in the lesson. If you'd like, you can expand the screen size and enter full screen by selecting the, the button above the displayed lesson. Pressing Escape exits full screen. Notice along the top of the lesson are buttons for learning goals and success criteria, learning skills and work habits. You can also toggle quickly to the Minds On, Action and Consolidation section of the lesson. Selecting Listen to this activity opens up an audio file that you can listen to as you go through the lesson. For the second style, select the unit and lesson or activity you want, and then select the blue button, Go to this activity. This opens up the lesson already in full screen, which looks similar to the previous style. You still have the same buttons at the top, including learning goals, success criteria, and the quick toggles to the different sections of the lesson, and listen to this activity. These two styles of the lesson are, again, very similar, and what you should notice as you read through the course, there are different sections with prompts to get you to join the discussion, submit your work, or to an assignment folder, Dropbox folder, or save your work to a portfolio. There are also interactive elements added into these lessons, so don't just scroll through. Much of the learning is meant to be done through video, reflection, and interactives, and these will help you to, when you participate in the discussions and submit your assignments. If you're taking an e-learning course through another school board, your course may look something like this. When you select the activity or lesson, you will see the lesson overview. Then you can look at the curriculum expectation by clicking on expectations. The content is the actual lesson itself with all the videos, text, and interactive parts. There may be multiple pages to the content section, which you can get to by scrolling to the very bottom and selecting next. Then you can select assignment in order to complete the required assignments, journals, or discussion posts for the lesson. Regardless of the format of your lessons, you access them the same way, and they generally have the same things inside of them. The look and feel is just different. But remember, if you're taking courses with the Greater Essex County District School Board, they will more than likely be one of the first two styles of courses. Anyways, I hope this video helped you learn how to access your online lessons for your e-learning course. If it did, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll check you in our next video.